It is Mother's Day, and what better gift to give your mom than maybe a little pampering? This morning, we're showing you how to throw a do it yourself spa party just for your mom or the special woman in your life because, of course, they deserve it. Joining me this morning is Eugenia Santi Esteban Soto, senior style editor of Better Homes and Garden magazine. Welcome. Thank you. So, you have some great tips for all of us. A lot of this could be done last minute today, really. Exactly, which is so great, and it's all meant to be really easy. It's just meant to be about de stressing, detoxing, and just hanging out with some of your favorite friends at home. Mm -hmm. And the, the front of, the, of our table here makes me want to hang out for sure. Tell us a little Great. bit about so, how you set this up. Yes, it's all about setting the scene. You just want to create the spa-like atmosphere. You want people to walk in. You want them to feel relaxed. We love the idea of having tons of throw pillows, making it super comfortable, layered rugs. Candles are great because they instantly get you in that spa-like environment. And you can use this. Obviously, you can do this with what you have at home already. Exactly. Okay. That's a great thing to do. Absolutely. Okay, so next is the hydration station. Tell us what we have here. Yes, so you can set this up in a bar cart or you can use a console, really, you know, anywhere. And hydrating is so important. Mm -hmm. And you just really want your guests to feel pampered. So we love the idea of having these infused water. You can use still or sparkling water, and then you just add herbs or you add berries or citrus, and it just makes the water taste amazing, and it just makes it a little bit more special. So we have cucumbers and strawberries in this one, and what do we have in this one? Is, are those ber those are berries, right? So if you want to kick things up a notch, we also <laughs> have a recipe for a cocktail. It's an herbed blackberry cocktail. It's just a few simple ingredients. Um, you shake it up in a cocktail shaker, and then pour it in a pretty glass, and it's ready to go. And it's ready to go. Okay, and you need something to eat along with the drink. Exactly, and the food is all about being fuss-free, no utensils, just something light and super easy. We've got this recipe for these avocado pesto tomatoes. Um, you serve them with a toothpick, so they're super easy. They're one bite. Mm -hmm. um, but if you don't even want to deal with that, we also have these healthy wraps. You can just go out to your local takeout and just grab a few things and put them on a pretty platter, and they're ready to go. So back to these really quick. It's yes. a tomato. Tell us what's in this. So it's a pesto that's made with avocado and basil. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um, it's really quick to, and easy to do. You can do it in a food processor, and then you just stuff the tomato with it and throw a toothpick on it. Ready to go. Okay, and we do. We need some do-it-yourself recipes in order for to have a spa day, right? We have a couple here. So this is the core of the party. This is really what you invited your guests over to do. Mm -hmm. So we have this great clay hand and foot soak. Um, it's super easy. It's um, a quarter cup of powdered clay. You can just throw some in there. And powdered then, clay. So where do you get that? So you can get that at Whole Foods or your local health food market. It's just um, clay in a powdered form. It's really great. It's um, purifying and detoxifying. Mm -hmm. And then we have some Epsom salt, which again you can just get at the drugstore or grocery store. Mm -hmm. um, and then your essential oils. Um, so we add a few drops of these, and it's great to have a few different options and a few different scents because, as you know, fragrance is so personal, so you really want your guests to be able to customize. So you can't use, like, olive oil or something? You <laughs> could, you could, but the great thing about essential oils is that they have healing properties right. and they also smell great. Right, of course. Um, so you dissolve this in some warm water. Mm -hmm. And then the great thing about this and that really kicks it up a notch and makes it feel like a spa is adding some flower petals. Which you can just go right to your own garden or front yard and Absolutely. pick some. Absolutely. Any flower will do. Mm -hmm. And then when you're done with that, where, what do you do with this? So when you're done with this, you can soak your hands in it, you can soak your feet in it. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you have a big, huge tug, you can do your whole body. <laughs> right, and really get the whole full spa experience. Okay, and the last thing we have is the sugar sea salt scrub, right? Yes, so this is a great exfoliating scrub. It's really easy, and this one is great because most of the ingredients you can find at home in your own pantry. Mm -hmm. So you do raw sugar. And I definitely have that in my pantry, for sure. It's a great one to have. Uh -huh. And then you do some sea salt. Okay. Um, you do a little bit of natural liquid soap. Mm -hmm. um, so we'll just do a pump of that. And then you have some sweet almond oil, which is really great for moisturizing. Okay. And you can get that at the supermarket or a health um, food this store is a too. It's a more specialized, so health food store would have it. Whole Foods is a great place. Okay. And then again, a few drops of essential oils that are going to really make it smell amazing. And then you just stir that up. And then it makes this beautiful, delicious, amazing smelling scrub. 
It's really great for your skin. Mm -hmm. and Once then, it's done. And how long do you usually keep it on your skin for? Um, you usually keep it on just for a few minutes. Okay. And you just want to exfoliate that dead skin away. Mm -hmm. And then the great thing about this is that um, you can also do these takeaway gifts. We have these little jars and you can just fill them up for your guests for them to take home whenever they're ready to leave as a little parting gift. And that's, this is a fun thing that you could do with your kids and make the, the kids can make this for mom. Absolutely. Kids can make it. Husbands mm -hmm. can make it. It's for the whole family. <laughs> it's easy. And you guys have some other tips as well, right? We do, yes. Um, go to betterhomesandgardens.com mm -hmm. and um, you'll see all our tips. Wonderful. Henya, thank you so much for being here. We so appreciate it and for this beautiful display. And for thank more you. information, you can head to our website, cbsnewyork.com.